the spirit of pride. The spirit of pride is so dangerous because it's the only spirit that will cause God to turn his back to you literally. The Bible says that God shuns or turns his back to people who are prideful. And the reason for this, I got the revelation while I was doing my makeup today, is because pride is the only sin where you are purposefully, purposefully, purposefully not only sinning against God, sinning against yourself, but also sinning against others. It's the only sin where you say, I am my own God. It's the only sin where you say, I am my own idol. I come first. Me, 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 I, I. It's every sin combined. Pride is the root of so, it's the root of every sin. Pride is the root of lust. Pride is the root of lying. Pride is the root of stealing, killing. Pride is the root of gluttony. Pride is the root. Pride is that root sin. It was the first sin. Pride is what got Adam and Eve to fall. Mm. Well, God is, only, God is only telling you this because he don't want you to be better than who he is. Pride. The serpent, Satan, woke up pride in Adam and Eve. They felt as though that they deserved to know and they should be allowed to know because why? Why not? God ain't no better than I am. This is what caused Satan to fall. He was the first being to make the decision to war against, go against the father. You following? The only reason why God gives us a little more grace around pride, and it's not much, is because Satan is the cause. Satan is the father of pride, the father of lies, the father of sin. We always say, well, sin entered man through the serpent, but what sin? Pride. Y'all, I'm sorry for the noise in the background, but I need y'all to hear me. Please, I, listen, I can't help that I'm a mama. Just, just hear the word. Be careful not to fall into pride because pride is literally the devil. Pride is literally the enemy. Pride is literally the antichrist. Pride is literally the destroyer. Pride will kill you. I don't know why I just got so serious, but pride will kill you. Pride will kill you. It's going to kill you. Whoever it is I'm talking to, get out of pride. Because it is the enemy's mission to destroy you by making you believe that you are your own God. By making you believe that your life and your destiny is in your own hands. And by the same hands that you think that you can run your life with is the same hands that you're going to destroy them with. Pride is the devil. I think he got a hold on you. Pride is the devil. Renounce pride and work against it. Pride also works hand in hand with Leviathan. What is the spirit of Leviathan? The spirit of Leviathan is a big dragon, serpent, snake spirit. And the scales on its back are their armor. You can't kill Leviathan by saying I rebuke you. Leviathan is ancient. Pride is ancient. These are ancient demons. Oh, I should do a teaching on demons versus ancient demons. Ancient demons are demons who've been here since the beginning of time. Like wisdom is an ancient spirit. Everything is spiritual. Wisdom is a, it, it's the spirit of wisdom. It's an ancient spirit. Pride is an ancient demon. Leviathan is an ancient demon. If you think that because you feel justified, because when you have pride, you know when you're wrong. You know when you're not in right standing, but pride tells you that it doesn't matter. Pride feeds you and tells you that you're right when you're wrong. Pride is so conniving. It makes you think that as long as I can feel like I'm right within myself, even if the whole world disagrees with me, as long as I feel, I, I, I feel that I am right, then I'm at peace. It's a false sense of peace and a false sense of reality. It gets you in this trap and God turns his back to you. And then, See, the enemy got you right where he wants you after that. You know why? Because once God turns his back to you, you don't want to live the life of the presence of God not being present. You don't want to live the life of God taking his presence from you. Do you know what the definition of hell is? It is to be without the presence of God. You will be living on hell on earth you will be living a hell on earth if you do not cast down fast pray and ask god to deliver you from the spirit of pride because pride will kill you it's about i don't know who i'm talking to but pride is about to kill it's about to take you up out of here pride is about to take you up out of here and you know who i'm talking to because you ain't never felt as as convicted as you do today it's about to take you up out of here because pride makes you bitter. Pride makes you selfish. Pride is the root of murder. Pride is the root of every depression.
I'm Naya J, and that's what the Lord wanted to say. Educate so we don't generate more lost generations. I love y'all. And God loves y'all so much more.